Daisy. Incoming director of the Sisters Outdoor Quilt Show. I've arrived about a month ago so that I could see the show and learn the ropes. But really, I see myself as the executive border collie and the executive cheerleader for the more than 550 volunteers we have working here and all the businesses who really are the foundation of what makes the quilt show happen. I had lived in Oregon before. The opportunity to come back to the Sisters Outdoor Quilt Show in the high desert country was a real plus. And frankly, the quilt show has put sisters on the map, so I knew very well what a thrill it would be to come and be part of this community, part of bringing people in to visit us, our businesses, and our art, our culture, and the entire um, sisters country was really a big plus. But the motivating factor was to work for an arts organization that not only inspired everybody about the art, but really gave back to the community. The fact that we involve the school groups, the fact that we partner with many of the nonprofits and the service organizations here that continue to help build and feed our community year round was really what made me decide to take this career move at this point in my life. I'm thrilled to meet the folks who come from all over the world and ask them where they're from and why they're here. And those that are first time and those who have been coming for 10 years. Um, once you see the quilts go up, it's heart stopping to see the beauty of the work and time that people have put into these quilts and they're sharing them with the world. Um, to hear the stories of camaraderie, to see the people who are putting up their quilts for the first time. Uh, I can't say that there's one thing, it's that entire feeling of a show that is the world's largest outdoor quilt show that really makes it so special. My style is very whimsical, colorful, it's a lot of fun. Um, I do a lot of liberated quilting as well. Liberated quilting is where you would take something that might be a traditional quilt block but not make it traditionally so that it looks a little, might look a little wonky. You also don't have to measure things so every time you're cutting, every cut and sew is a design decision which makes things a lot of fun. I don't like to know what I'm going to end up with at the end so I get to start with with an idea and just go from there. I've been quilting for about 23 years and I just always admired quilts. I especially like the Amish quilts. So when I started quilting, I learned very traditional quilting and um, about 10 years ago, discovered Gwen Marston's book, Liberated Quilt Making, and that's what changed everything. I just learned how to do a whole different style of quilting. When I was named the feature quilter, I was pretty shocked. I really, I just had no idea that anybody would ask that. <laughs> <laughs> so I was amazed. I first went to Uganda in 2007 with a medical team as a volunteer. Uh, took a quilt for my young daughter that I sponsor there and it brought a lot of attention from the other women in the village. They'd never seen a quilt before and they actually draped it around her shoulders thinking I'd made her a cape. And when I told them no it's a quilt to let, put on her bed to keep her warm at night they were so excited, because up in the mountains where I'm working, it is very cold at night, where they get, especially during the rainy season. So when I told them this quilt was to keep this little girl warm at night, they all wanted to make one for their children. So they kept emailing uh, to the pastor of my church to please send the woman back to teach us how to make the blankets of color. Teaching them to quilt was just a start. These women found such a joy in just learning to sew that we started making other products like market bags to sell and table runners. They got real excited when I told them I could take their things back to the U.S. and sell them and bring the money back to them to help other women in the village. They didn't want to keep the money for themselves. They wanted to help those that were more needy. Anyone that's interested in helping this community and these wonderful, amazing women, we do have our own website. It's sistersoftheheartfoundation.org. And they can donate, they can purchase an item. 
or they can just learn more about the work they're doing.